Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the art of Chuck Close, famous American painter who is most noted for doing these larger than life size portraits using a technique involving the grid. So if we look at some of his work here. Here's a photograph of Chuck and you can see there are these grid squares overlaying his portrait here that he printed out. So what you will do is overlay a grid on an image and then recreate that image on a much larger scale uh, to come up with these larger than life size portraits. And here is a great example. Here is a portrait of Chuck and here is Chuck himself. So we're going to move on. So today we're going to be taking this image of a hand, a little illustration here, and transferring it to a larger size in our sketchbooks. Here you can see there's a grid that's overlaying this image here. So we're going to recreate this grid by using a pencil and a ruler, and then one grid square at a time, just sort of transposing uh, what is in each square uh, with pencil. Then uh, we'll color in the background, uh, or you can even color in the hand if you'd like to do that. All right, we're going to get started. All right, so what we're going to be doing is creating this grid in our sketchbooks. Now, this is an 11 by 7 inch grid. The grid squares are 1 inch. Let's first start off by taking our ruler. And we're just going to position our ruler, um, you know, sort of in the top left corner here, maybe about a half inch down and a half inch over, give or take. I'm going to put a dot or a little tick mark at every inch. Until I get to 11. So now we have our one inch marks going down here on the left side, which adds up to 11 inches. Now we're going to start at that bottom leftmost tick mark, and that's going to be zero. And I'm going to go seven inches over. So I'm going to put a tick mark at every inch until I get to seven. And we're going to repeat that same step along the other sides. Great. Now we're simply going to connect those dots with our ruler here, and that's going to give us our grid. Now we have our 11 by 7 grid, 1 inch grid squares. It's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is uh, just sort of go square by square and draw whatever is in the corresponding squares. Taking into account the negative space in each of the squares, so here in this one, the fourth one over in the top row, you have this shape here. So it's important to consider the negative space uh, relationship in each one of the squares to truly get this um, accurate. Alright, so first three squares have nothing in them, so I'm going to skip over to the fourth one here, and I'm just going to sort of pencil in that uh, line. All 
Mm. This is a pretty thick line, so I'm going to do my best to recreate that. Okay, and we're going to move on to the next one, so on and so forth. And here we have the final pencil drawing of the hand. One of the reasons I really like doing this is because it breaks a drawing down into manageable chunks. So oftentimes when students are asked to draw something, they have the whole image in front of them and they can become a little bit overwhelmed, uh, especially if they're new to art. So this exercise serves to break that uh, process down into manageable steps so they can focus on one grid square at a time. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one.